Good morning, Patriots. My name is Ethan, and here are the announcements for Tuesday, September 8th. Attention tech nerds. The Pat's Desk is a student-run technical assistance service that will help students resolve their computing issues. If you love working with computers and doing good for others, this might be the thing for you. Interested students should see Ms. Thorson or Ms. Karbakis in the library for more information. Attention students who wish to receive free or reduced meals. New applications for the school year need to be turned in before September 30th to be considered for a reduced cost meal. If a new application is not turned in before this date, your meal price will become $265 until a new application process is in and processed. Here's the first installment of A Day in the Life with Amber and Deanna. Hey Patriots, you may have noticed that things in room 34 look a little different. We sat by to talk to Mr. Thankworth and the students to see what's going on. So what can you tell us about this new ninth grade integrated room and how did it all get started? So uh, yeah, good question. It started way back last spring. Mr. Thomas approached a group of teachers, uh, Mr. Ulrich, he's history, Mr. Plowman, he's science, Lily is doing algebra, and I'm doing English. And he approached us and asked us if we had some creative ways that we could do a more integrated cross-curricular approach to the core subjects, the four core subjects. You get to do projects and go outside the classroom and like interact with all your classmates and in my other classrooms like the teacher just like talks to you and then you like do a worksheet but here like everyone's like working together and it's like an easier learning experience because of it like hands on. And it's kind of been weird because like I'm just used to going to one class and then going to another. It's not like, but it's not like that. It's like, I have to, it's like I'm taking two classes at one time. It's kind of like a big family as well, where it's not sit down, study, have a test, and do, have an SOL. It, you really like get to know each other and you get to like have fun and learn while you're doing it. Um, and so, you know, we're just really trying to make um, as many connections between our subjects working together as a collaborative team, trying to get outside of the classroom, uh, trying to do some real real problem solving in the world, and uh, just trying to do a little bit different take than everybody's divided up into different classes, going through their days. We're trying to do all subjects all day long. Can you tell us how important Ms. Shiflet was to this program? So Laura Shiflet is amazing with her wide variety of experiences, and right from the beginning, um, She's a coach in this county. She's taught English. She's she's worked collaboratively with people. She has had so much input on um, the creativity behind trying to do things differently. Um, some amazing ideas on how to really make this experience really rich, um, and just kind of some ideas on on the day to day runnings of the room. Um, and she's going to be really feeding us as it goes on too. Um, so she's going to continue to add her creativity, I know, and just make this thing even better than it is already. So. This has been a day in the life of Amber and Deanna. Here's Michael with the sports. Thanks, Ethan. Albemarle football beat Kettle Run last Friday, beating them 20 to 7. Tyquan Rose returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown, setting the tone. Jamal Thompson also had a great night, 95 rushing yards, including a touchdown. The Patriots have a bye week this week, but they'll be back next Friday to take on Patrick Henry. That's all for now. Have a great day. I could only get outside my mind I could realize I 
could find the reasons why we seem to feed the grind I read between the lines, connecting us, the process infectious I think I know why the angels neglected us At least it's how it's perceived, we leave like the exodus Footprints in the sand